right footed kick gets us underway here at Netherdale in this border league clash between Gala and Selkirk and it's kicked deep into the Selkirk 22 initially well gathered Hugo Alderson having to dig about inside that ruck to get the ball back and he manages to field it onto Turnbull who just carries the ball forward towards that 22 yes, metre line Alderson directing traffic just looking for some support and runners he finds one there in Shafajak who takes it back towards the, the stand side here at Netherdale Selkirk playing towards the psych end and and at the moment they're just starting to get that ball through the body of that ruck to set it up for Alderson to box kick downfield and he's made good distance with that a solid start there from Selkirk who could secure the ball but good pressure from Gallo and it's a solid first scrum and Selkirk have certainly got the upper hand Westlake looking to offload in the back row just sniffing about that loose passage of play there from Selkirk as they look to try and keep the ball alive and again there ready to just snaffle any opportunity was the back row of Dunn and Scott and now linking up on this side it's uh, the aforementioned Liam Scott charging forward uh, always a willing runner now Keddy back at his hometown club after a spell with Buttermuir Bears in the semi-pro ranks of the Super Series Peffers offloading the ball there and finds Kyle Scott charging on at it Peffers again puts boot to ball stabs it in behind and now it's a loose bobbling ball which has been well pawed at the back there by the Josh Welsh who's playing fullback oh offloads to Finlay Whelans but he's going to come back from the match official there a knock on from Gala but again good invent inventive play Alderson rolls the ball into a solid platform there the scrum craning forward Westlake scoops to Alderson then McComb charges to the line out the back there to Whelans and now he lobs the ball over the top to Josh Welsh who manages to get it into a bit of space and now it's Blake Cullen who's found that little gap over that far side charges towards that five metre line and now Westlake tips the ball on to McComb, McComb to Ward he manages to pluck a, a high ball off there because it was a really difficult one to contend with but the referee is signalling that there's a penalty there a little bit further across the field Darren Fisher watches patiently over this set piece it's scrummed from the left hand side of Westlake's leg but Alderson was there quickly McComb links up with Nixon Nixon then gives the ball to a stationary Josh Welsh who tips the ball on and it is Finlay Whelans who was there in support Top trying to get his body to the ground to make sure that the referee calls this passage of play to a halt as Westlake carries forward now Another ex Muir Bear, I'll know Craig Keddie very well as McComb goes to the blind side. Welsh is wrapped up, he's then lifted so he can't get his knees to the ground. Craig Keddie just jumps on the tackle there just to suffocate the ball. A few bodies pile in but I don't think this ball is going to come back whatsoever. They're trying to drive it over that try line to perhaps result in a goal line dropout but it is going to be a scrum. Westlake picks the ball up from the back of the scrum and fires the ball into Ross Nixon who just charges forward he's been challenged relatively high the referee signalling that he wasn't happy with that challenge as McComb gets the ball to Cottrell and Cottrell's found the first bit of space it's a great offload to Josh Welsh he's got support either side one of them's Alderson but he's got a couple of players hounding down on him one of them is Ben Gill and inside was Liam Scott as well who was just tracking on that inside shoulder just breathing down the neck of the Selkirk attackers who were sniffing an opportunity there another try but they've managed to get their way back into the Gala 22. McComb playing scrum half now, finds uh, Shafar Jack, signals exactly where he wants him to go, he tucks and he cuddles the ball, on, and he makes sure it's going to come back on a Selkirk side. Alderson's recycled himself well, manages to get the ball to Sam Clark, who's having an industrious start to this game. McComb out the back door to Josh Welsh, he's gone through some space, he's thrown the dummy, he was just not able to relieve himself for that last challenge, keeps the ball alive, nicks into McComb, McComb! <laughs> Tried to find Blake Cullen who was hugging the wing but it's just been fumbled forward. Gallop, a few metres shy of the Selkirk line now, they line up the forwards to the left hand side. Tipping it on, looking to get the tempo on, Ayers just calling on the forwards to get round the corner. And they're coming in ones and twos, Kyle Scott is there and then he's joined by Richie Todd. And the forwards again charging on, looking to tip that ball towards the outside shoulder of perhaps where the 10 is loitering and the, the outside backs the, the advantage now coming for Gallup Ayer goes to the blind side Peffers has got a couple of options here he steps in then goes back on the inside the ball now playing with a bit of tempo tipped onto the corner and Ben Gill then squeezes into the corner he didn't have a lot to do he just had to make sure he gathered the ball and just checked the defence and Finlay Whelans was plugged in that hole and he had to defend either way Gets the ball back for Selkirk, he gives Alderson a chance to box kick downfield over the halfway line. He's left at high, ready to compete. Welsh just uh, dropped a shoulder in there and then Cottrell just hacks the ball downfield. It stayed in the field of play. 
and chasing onto this is Ross Nixon looking to try and corner these gala players into a blind alley but Ayer was in the centre of the field he kicks it downfield gobbled up there by McComb he just filters the ball into the hands of Josh Welsh and now it's two and two he goes back inside beats the first defender then tries to offload Anna McComb does well to gather the ball floats the ball over the top to Finlay Whelans who dances and weaves his way back infield away from that dangerous touchline that is probably cost Selkirk a try early on in this game for Sam Clark out stretched arms there of Alderson who's looking to try and protest with the referee to get that penalty he filtered away Westlake out to Nixon he tries to go through the gap and then free his arms to get that offload in but not able to as he's been wrapped up by the gala defence hunched over that again is Alderson he manages to find this time it looked like it was uh, Josh Welsh who looked to try and get the boot on the ball and dribble it over that goal line but it's going to come back for the penalty anyway for Selkirk Keddy from the base of that scrum finds Peffers who's got a little bit of space in the, the backfield he thinks he spots the chance of a 50-22 but the ball is starting to bubble its way towards that dead ball area Finlay Whelans picks it up and he's starting to go away from his own goal line and it's dangerous work here he looked to roll the dice and the Gala players swamp on the occasion into the hands of Russell Kerr and now it's just opened up there and charging forward is Doug Weir a little bit of footwork as well up towards it Selkirk 22 and now Gallup trying to manipulate that overlap Craig Keddie coming back on that cut he's got a chance here Gregor Collins is in acres of space and Gallup are in the corner and they double their lead here in second half now underway and it's Gala 10 Selkirk nil Gala to Receive the ball from the restart and Kieran Westlake was just breathing down the neck of John Turnbull who gathered well. Ayer waits. Passes back to Peffers who just lumps it again downfield. Darren McCoe had all the time in the world to watch it and now Oliver McClyman looks to pick a little bit of space and he sees that there's a couple of second rows there that he can duck his weave and weave his way out of trouble. Now he's in behind. He gets the offload in, great support there from Finlay Whelans and now Selkirk into the 22. The cavalry will have to arrive pretty sharply and they do. Fraser Eason does well to clear the bodies out the road. Anna McComb scoops the ball to Cottrell. Cottrell looks to just offload the ball to Blake Cullen. He kicks it forward but the referee spots a knock on in there and that's a good first touch of the ball for young Oliver McClyman. He made his debut against the, the Southern Knights for Burnham Bears and now he's packed down at the base of that scrum again charging forward. The referee is perhaps going to have a decision to make here and the decision is a full seven points for Selkirk. They get the penalty try. And Callum McNeil takes his place in the left wing. Throwing the line out accurate for Gallup. They manage to congest and congregate on that situation and drive forward and Gallup have the ball in hand. Richie Todd now a couple of metres shy of this Selkirk line. Had been initially defended. The second time of asking actually from Selkirk. And it looks like it has also been turned over. Great awareness from the scrum half, who's uh, played a bit of time at Heriot's. McComb has to kick centre field because the pressure was coming at down the, the angle where he was uh, perhaps aiming for. Gill and Kerr then link up in the backfield. The ball's uh, been kicked down towards McClyman. It's going to be interesting to see what he does from these options. He just opts to kick downfield. He's perhaps scruffily kicked that and then he has to chase his own one. So Gala win the territorial battle with the boot there because Gill charged forwards and then the ball tipped on there it's Peffers gives the ball to Weir he's now on the ground and he's uh, got a couple of Selkirk players there trapped in that breakdown I think that's perhaps a, a cruel penalty but Lachlan Johnson then just kicks forward the bouncing ball has been well gathered there because Angus Dunn is on this and he's galloping his way towards the try line the swan dive over from the captain and as soon as the penalty was called, there was no second guessing what Lachlan Johnson was wanting to do. A little soft, delicate box kick over the top of the Selkirk players. The bouncing ball gathered by Angus Dunn. And then it was a matter of power and pace after that as he galloped his way towards the try line. And the captain stretches the lead for Gala here, 15 points to 7. That's going to be a conversion attempt here for Scott Peffers. So Doug Weir has been withdrawn. And Peffers now, right footed kick, low stabbing kick into the wind and it's successful. Craig Keddie charges forward, being met by 
Turnbull presents the ball back so Johnson can find Peffers. He travels with the ball in hand, then gives it to Ben Gill. He's got he's got Scott for support, but he was challenged well before he gathered the ball. And I think there's only going to be one outcome here, Robin. I think there could be two outcomes here. Well, Bale, two. Uh, yeah. Two outcomes, and it should be a penalty try and a yellow card. Great line from Gill. Excellent line from Gill. Scythe through the defensive line after some good yeah. work from Peffers. And it would have been the try, the, 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 the try on the 100th. Let's take him out the picture, OK? Is there a defender there? I think there no. is. Yeah, no. Penalty try. Penalty try, 22. 22, number. Circle 22. Circle 22, please. 22. So, 22. you can hear that. 22, that's 66 now. You said it three times, but I think uh, eventually Ryan Cottrell gets the message. And his reintroduction to Selkirk Rugby Club has resulted in a bit of an impact, but a, a smile with the AR as he trudges off. And it goes to the front. Cassidy is brought down. Turnbull's waiting there and the Selkirk players gather, but through there is Richie Todd who got himself in a great position just to steal that ball back. It was a porous Selkirk mall and it allowed Todd in a great position to get that ball. The bouncing ball has then been hacked forward from Gallup and now it's a foot race towards the line. Callum McNeil is going to be the first one back. He's got a little bit of company there. Dan Nicholson's there. He's trying to challenge the Selkirk replacement winger and there's more maroon jerseys there than white ones just now. Oliver McClyman commended for his bravery before, perhaps a bit naive to let that bounce there. Tim McCavera tucks and goes. Kieran Westlake is over that ball. Lachlan Johnson now looks to try and pass the ball away from the base, but Ross Nixon flaps the ball down. There's going to be a penalty to Gala. Lachlan Johnson is almost looking to go quickly with this one. 17 points as we take it to the 20 mark. Scott Peffers as Gala make their way towards the 22. Johnson <coughs> Peffers now. He finds Craig Keddie who again just flings himself into contact. Penalty coming the way of Gala. Turnbull finds McCavener. He dances back in field and he looks to brush himself off. Fraser Eason who propels McCavener towards the line and Gala stretch their lead here and make it look the most one-sided of games and McCavener almost got a power up from Fraser Eason as he put that big hand into the chest of the replacement Selkirk Cooker it just allowed him to launch himself towards that try line and roll over and go in for what was an impressive score and again Good work from the likes of Keddie in the build-up. As Scott Peffers lines up, he was wanting to try and get the second conversion of the evening. Unsuccessful. Fraser Eason round the corner and he's absolutely clattered there. Neil Turnbull was the, the final hammer blow. And now his brother Cameron Eason looks to try and get himself out of traffic. A couple of players had to keep a keen eye on the, the lightweight fly half as again Ross Nixon and plucks the ball up and carries forward and Selkirk are probably as close now as they've ever been to a try in this second half Mallon this time it was Guy Mallon twisting out of contact the advantage coming yet again as Westlake gives the ball to Turnbull he's knocked forward and I think the referee is looking at his pocket and it's going to be Richie Todd to get a yellow card in the dying embers of this game so Selkirk want to try and get themselves over the whitewash and get that try which in terms of an actual try has evaded them so far in this game Westlake dives over for the loose ball and it was a carry forward from Claymore Cochrane who was stopped short and then Westlake just dives over and dots the ball down and Gallup are knocking again at the door Peffers cross field kick there's a chance here as he judged it well just too much there the outstretched arm of Ben Simmons just means it's just went into touch. It's just went dead. And Darren Fisher has seen enough here at Netherdale. And it is finished. It is a very one-sided victory for the home side. Gala 32, Selkirk 12.